What's up guys, Xara Kiwis here and welcome back to another Top 100 Squad Battles Rewards video. As always, really appreciate you guys choosing to click on a video. If you could of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then I would really appreciate it. So as always with these videos, I will show you the team, custom tactic, fire instructions, etc. And then claim the packs. I've also got A81 plus player packs in the, um, ready to open as well. So yeah, hopefully we can pack something good today. So I've been using the same, same team for a while now, apart from KDB and Van Dyke, which were new additions at the start of the week. Um, of course, packed Team of the Year De Bruyne, which was a massive pull. Already played 75 games with Matchley. But yeah, I think I'm going to have a switch up. Del Piero and Neymar, I think I'm going to get rid of. Um, I'd like to try some of the new players out. Uh, obviously, defenders can't really do much because they're untradeable. But I would like to try a few of the new midfielders, etc. And just try and have fun with the game, because let's be fair... This game isn't very fun, but I switch into 4-4-2 in-game, and Del Piero goes right striker, Neymar stays left, Hazard left, Firmino goes there, Kante goes over there, and Kante gets subbed off for Salah. So that's how it starts up. Um, three good right-footed players on the left for the finesse shots, and then three good left-footed players, well, two are right-footed, but they've both got a really good five-star weak foot, so are basically left-footed players as well, of course, for the finesse shots. Um, so yeah, I bring on Tevez and Ibra sometimes, Tevez will come on like left mid, Ibra will come on centre mid. I actually score a lot of goals for the centre mid, probably more goals for the centre mid than I do the, um, anybody else actually. But as we go into the custom tactics, 4-4-2, uh, pressure on heavy touch to try and win the ball back as quickly as I can. High width and depth, fast build up play, and then 4 width, 4 players in box, 2 corners and 2 free kicks. This is the same custom tactics that I've been using for months now and they've been going well so um, I might try a few different sets uh, in the next coming weeks or so but that's what I've been using for a while. I'll, I'll show you the um, player instructions as well, forgot to do that uh, on that one and then player instructions. All I do is just put all of the four midfielders on stay forward. I leave everybody else alone and just put stay forward on the four midfielders. So that's the team. Of course, if you've got any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments below. The only bad thing about this team is De Gea. Awful goalkeeper on FIFA 19. Absolutely horrendous for me. But as we go and claim the rewards, um, I didn't have a good week this week. I still came top 10. I came 7th in the end. But honestly, I had a very poor week. I lost quite a few games. We get one ultimate pack, two 50k packs and 87,500 coins though, which is always nice. Um, some featured squad there, don't bother looking at them anymore. But you'll see that we've got, say it's 10 packs, we've got 11. I've got 8 at 81 plus, and then of course the 250s and 125k pack. So yeah, I'm expecting something from these 81 plus, not going to lie. I've opened two so far. We get a walkout straight away. Can we get a future player? We can! Let's go! Come on, be someone good. Vincent, oh, striker. Ah, oh, is that Crutone guy, is it? Something like that? Yeah, Crutone. Um, not the best card in the game, not the worst, but as I was saying, these um, packs are really good. I've opened three now, and I've already got a future Kutron, I've got a walkout PK, and then I've got nothing in the other one. But these packs so far have been sick for me. Um, 89 rated cards, straight off of the bat, even if I don't like him, go straight into an SBC. First future player that I've packed as well. So, only three star week for really good finishing. Short passing's really good. He's got 72 short uh, passing, but his short pass, uh, 72 normal passing, sorry, but his short passing's insane. So, uh, steady dribbling, not the best agility, really good physical. It'll be a really good super sub, actually, I reckon. His card stats don't look great, but you look at his in-games, and they're actually really not bad, especially being that he's six foot as well. But yeah, first future star packed. As I said, I would highly recommend these. Only 11 rares, so it'll cost you about 10k. And I've been getting walkout galores in them. Three packs, two walkouts, one future star. So really happy with that. Um, if you're wondering, my rec weekend league record at the minute is 18-3. and three. I was 14-0. and 0, And honestly, have no idea how I've lost more games. But I'm not going to get into that. We all know that I'm not a fan of the gameplay. But yeah, let's just say I know why I don't play FIFA competitively anymore like I used to with champs. But um, yeah, 7th in squad battles. I actually think I'm going to take a break. In the next week. As much as I love doing these rewards for you. And you guys love watching them. Um, I only put myself through it for you guys to watch the video. But I've been grinding this for like 8 consecutive weeks now. Which is a long time. 
considering in that eight weeks, well, be nine weeks now, I think, with this video, I've had three firsts, three seconds, and like a fourth and two seventh or something, which is hard. I'm I'm not saying for any point that my grind is harder for anybody. Uh, oh yeah, they're untradeable, aren't they? Already, I'm not saying for any point that my grind is harder than anybody else's. I respect anybody that can grind squad battles this hard through the week and whenever. Come on, give me a walkout. Yeah, I know how hard the grind can be, but grinding that long for ult against ultimate to the highest level to um, for that many weeks, honestly, it's taken a toll on me, and I think I need a break. As I said, I lost, I think I lost four games this week. I lost more games this week than I did in the entire of the last two months, and I think it's just because I'm fatigued. Like I've been working quite a bit, and then by the time I get home from work, I've got to rush the games, play tired, etc. And there's just no way that I can play to a top level um, with that uh, playing consistently that many times a week with foot champs, with div rivals, etc. So as much as I love doing these reward videos, I think next week I'm just going to give a break. Which will also give me a lot more time to finish a tutorial video. I have started it, I'm about halfway through, but it's just so hard to get the time to do it. So yeah, if I don't play them as well, that'll give me a lot more time to finish the tutorial video for you guys. Come on, give me a walkout in this last pack, please. We do, we get a walkout. Future star again? Oh, it's not. Can we get anybody good though? Centre back, be Hummels. Don't be Boateng, Hummels is high rated. Yeah, 89 Hummels. So as I said, um, I opened 8 of them packs in just this video alone and got 289s. I personally think that's worth it. With the amount that 89s cost now, I'm guessing they're probably at 50k or something now. Does it let me search them on a transfer list? It does. So, yeah, they're 50k. Which means that just on them two players, with the guy even being a future card, I would have easily have made my money back if I went and bought them for the transfer list for SBCs. So, hopefully, I can get something. Rewards lately for my squad battle rewards have been horrendous. So please let me get something. We start with an 83, which isn't good at all. But of course, let me know down in the comments below what you guys packed and if you've got anything good. Um, also, if you're doing the 81 pluses, I think they're really good personally. I'll uh, be doing a lot more of them with pretty much all of my rare players again. Can we get anything in this 50k pack? We can get a walkout. Can it be a future player? It can't. No icon either in form. Who's that going to be? Oh, is that that Pepe guy is an 86? I'm, um, I'm guessing he's going for a little bit. All team of the week right now are going for um, quite a bit of money due to all the Icon SBCs and stuff that are coming out lately, which is good by EA. Um, I will sell him. He's got a decent card by the looks of it, but I'll just store him in the club. I'm never going to use... Uh, I'll transfer list him, sorry. I'm personally never going to use him. Oh, 100% I'm selling him. 40k for that card. I'll take that all day long. So, oh, one ultimate pack left. Come on, give me an icon. Give me a future stars player. Give me somebody. Please give me somebody good. I can't remember the last time I had a walkout from an ultimate pack. And I still don't get a walkout from an ultimate pack. We get a board, but... <sighs> these ultimate packs, man. I get one every single week. And I never get anything from them. Never. I mean... <sighs> just the squad battle rewards, man. They're so disappointing. For all the grind that you put in, you just really do not get rewarded. I know I've got an 86 in form this week, which is better than usual, but to open so many ultimate packs and to like never get anything out of them, it's just so, so heartbreaking every time. 184 in an ultimate pack, again, every single week they've been dreadful. But yeah, uh, 81 pluses in my opinion are really good. Squad battle rewards, as always, pack something decent for once, but still not really worth it. Hope you guys packed something good in your rewards or 81 plus upgrade. As I said, I think I'm going to take a break next week, but tutorial should hopefully be finished. As always, really appreciate you guys being here and choosing to click on the videos. Can't thank you enough for the support. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And that would be really appreciated. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.